He is a professional actor, ministry leader, and director of Sunset Friday Entertainment. As an actor, he has appeared on television shows, numerous commercials, and company industrials. As director of Sunset Friday, he produces Christian entertainment on a weekly basis. His call and purpose in life is to serve God throughout through media with intent on helping people enjoy God. He attended, I don't even know if I should read this. <laughs> he did not attend Oakwood. <laughs> Attended some school in Washington. Um, sought after speaker, North American Division, yeah. Wife, daughter, dog. <laughs> it just messed me up. I can't even, I can't even read anymore. Um, he did not attend Oakwood, so um, we are not responsible for his presentation tonight. but we can praise God that he's still saved. Come on, somebody say amen. <laughs> and one thing he reminded me, share with me, that I don't know if it'll ever get out, but when we were practicing with those people that are gonna be a part of the presentation this weekend, he said, I'm just like any of you guys. Anybody who has a gift and a passion, God will use your gifts to change people's lives if you put your gifts in his hands. I would like to welcome to Oakwood University, <laughs> Mr. Anthony Hackett, come on at this time. What's going on, happy Sabbath? Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Y'all gonna hear me say that tomorrow too for church. And uh, Pastor Bird, once again, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you for um, giving me the, giving the approval, pushing the approval button uh, via, via your daughter. I want to thank your daughters, too, wherever they at. If you can hear me, daughters. Bird daughters. Where you at? Thank you, too. Because they put a little plug in, in, in Pastor Bird's ear. So I appreciate it all. Thank you. Them. And I just learned, I actually learned something special about Pastor Bird this evening. Y'all want to hear it? I'm standing next to him and um, come to find out the brother can sing a little bit. At least I think it was you. There's a lot of people singing at the same time, but it sounded like you. He said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> he got deep on one part. It wasn't supposed to get deep. He said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm at Oakwood University Church and uh, apparently this is the home of well, I guess 92.3% of all black Adventists have been through. <laughs> accurate, am I about accurate? At least, at least they, in some way, shape, or form, they've been through it. Like even if people ain't never been to Oakwood, still claim they've been to Oakwood. I know y'all got family here that been, they claim they've been to Oakwood, ain't never been to Oakwood. And somebody say Oakwood somewhere in, in Maryland or Wisconsin somewhere, and they be jumping up like they went there too. You ain't got to Oakwood. You in the three alumni weekends. You think you went to Oakwood. <laughs> you ain't been to Oakwood. Stop. And tell them, you got to call them out too. Just look at them. You ain't been to Oakwood. You was at college days. That's it. Stop it. And then if you went to Oakwood, <laughs> another thing, if you went to Oakwood, you automatically think you personally know anybody who's gotten success that came out of Oakwood. <laughs> you in the Oakwood and all of a sudden now you no know committed. You friends. <laughs> yeah, I know Fairy. I know Fairy Thomas. Who is Fairy Thomas? Terry Thomas? Is that who you talking about? Oh yeah, that's what we call him Fairy. You don't you was sit you sat behind him in class. You don't know Terry. Alright? But it's what happens. And Bruce, where my man Bruce at? Is Bruce here? Bruce, yeah, don't be hiding, brother. Come on over here real fast. Let me just see your back. Bruce, for some reason, I don't know why, he's like an Oakwood legend, too. Like, people know Bruce in other states that ain't never been to Oakwood. How do, they, how do they know you? Where you at? Stop hiding, brother. We can see you. I can see you. You can't hide. You, you got size. You can't hide. I see you. Don't fail. I can 
can't make fun of him because I'm skinny. I see you, you still hiding. Cut a little bit of that beard too, Bruce. It's getting a little long. When your beard is longer than your box, it's a little too long. It's too long, Bruce. Snip it. Snip it. Like this. This is the nice, this is a nice size. This like that. You gotta be able to break. If you can pick it, it's too long. Don't pick it. <laughs> Y'all stop acting like you can't laugh at church. Praise God for laughing, you guys. Praise God for enjoying God. When I found out, um, when I found out that um, the the weekend, the theme this weekend is um, extreme makeover, extreme makeover, and I was I was impressed. I loved it. And when I got to Oakland, I ain't been here since 2008, and I was like, wow, this place they done hooked it up, man. Y'all, if you're here now, you it wasn't like this in 08. It's beautiful. I got into the bathroom. The bathroom's here. They weren't like that then. Y'all got granite countertops and marble tiles and crown molding and stuff. That's, wow. Praise God. Pastor Bird, you are the real MVP. Show that man some love. Next to Jesus, next to Jesus, next to Jesus. Um, well, I just want to get right into this, you guys. Um, first of all, if you haven't got a chance to check out Sunset Friday Entertainment, uh, what we do is simply we produce Christian entertainment that can be enjoyed when the sun sets on Friday. And God blessed me with a gift, a talent to, to uh, act and to perform, to entertain, also to direct and, and write. So I felt good about this. And, and I, as an actor outside, just in the acting world, God just told me, you know what? I really want to use you for my work. And so that's what I began to do. And um, I just have to use a huge uh, praise God and a shout out to my wife. Um, my wife is Adonis. She actually went to Oakwood in Oak, from 04 to 08. Go ahead, clap it up. Go ahead. Every time I say Oakwood, just. If I say W A U, who's going to clap? Forget y'all. Y'all whack. But a shout out to her, man, because she's been a huge, a huge, huge, huge support system for me. And um, just a quick story, and I'm actually going to show you guys a video clip based on the theme of extreme makeover with regard to your relationship. And I'm really just going to piggyback off of uh, what, what Pastor Bird was uh, talking about on Wednesday. But my wife and I, right? You are a beast on that organ, man. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make people laugh. You dolling down the mood, bro. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to crack jokes. You just hear. No, you can, I, no, it's cool. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I'm trying to crack a joke. I'm, people about ready to pray and stuff. Uh, <laughs> let's laugh. You can laugh and pray too. But um, real fast, so. I took my wife, right, when she was my girlfriend, right, and fellas, listen to this, this is very important, fellas, listen to this. When you got a girl, you want to do something special, so I was like, all right, I got to take my girls to somewhere special, right, so I took her to Six Flags Great America, right, I thought that was special, I thought it was going to be unique, right, and so I'm a big roller coaster fan, and so there's three major roller coasters on that place, one is called Mind Eraser. And so, yeah, somebody went on that? Praise God for the mind eraser, right? So I went on the mind eraser and I took my wife. I was like, I've been on, first of all, I've been on all three of these roller coasters. I was like, man, you're going to love this. It's going to be so sick. She was like, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I'm from Orlando. They have some nice roller coasters. We'll see. I'm like, all right, cool, watch. So we get there, right? We get on the mind eraser, we buckle up, and she sat there, I sat here. And when you get on the mind eraser, they have these hooks, right? That latch on, boom, across your shoulder, boom. Boom, right? So she's lashed in, I'm lashed in, we got these hooks here, and I'm like, oh yeah, you ready? You ready? She's like, whatever, we'll see. So we start going, right? And as we're going, right, we go, and as soon as you hit the curb on the mind eraser, it takes you down. Boom, boom. And as soon as it takes you, the, there's pads right here. So as soon as it turns, it goes, boom, ah, boom, ah, and you just hit all over the place and you just hit up and you go this way and this way your legs is flying around and it swings up and boom you, you, you just get hit all over the place my arm flew up and smacked her in the face somehow I don't even know how that happened but it hit her in the face we come back around we got we, we the, the thing rolls down we slow down 
and we get off and we look at each other and we are bruised and bleeding and bubbles and boogies and stuff all over the place. It's real, I'm not dying, man. And so I look at her, she look at me, and we like, nah, we ain't doing this no more. So we get off, I was like, cool, listen, there's a better one, right? Let's go on the Batwing, right? It's the Batman ride. So we get on the Batwing, right? When you get on the Batwing, you sit down on it, right? And then it takes you back like you're laying down, like. So you land down. My wife, no, sorry. My wife's sitting here, and this dude, this white dude sitting right here, right? So we begin to go, we begin to go backwards, right? Backwards. And we're going up. And as we're going up, I'm looking out and I see the park and everything. And at this point, I'm getting a little nervous, right? I'm getting a little scared, but you know, I'm trying to be dude -ish. So I grab her kneecap, right? Dude on the side right here. Why do like, dude, man, come on. You serious? You're scared of this already? Shut up, man. My girl here. Shut up. So we begin going up. And as soon as you get to the top of the bat wing, it flips you around and flips. you just go, right? You take these turns and you do flips and turns and you go inside and you go backwards like this. And if I could do a backflip, I would have did that. So you do this back and then you keep switching around, flipping and turning, flipping and turning, flipping and turning. Boom. You get back and it parks. And as soon as it parks, you just feel like you was just on cloud nine. We looked at each other. We was like, yeah, that's a good one right there. I was like, but wait, babe, listen, let's go on the last one. It's called the Superman. So y'all familiar with that one? We get on the Superman, right? You get on the Superman, and you sit down, and when you sit down, it's just this little, that little thing that go like this, that's it, right? So I'm like, babe, this is the sickest ride of them all. She like, Psh. I just went Psh, like this, okay? If it's just this, it ain't nothing. I was like, all right, cool, watch, watch. So we begin to go. Mind you, we in the first car, right? So we begin to go up. It's just me and her. We begin to start going up. This is the tallest ride in Maryland. As we're going up, I'm looking around. You start seeing the entire park, right? And you're still going up. You keep going, keep going. I saw, look out, you see like Oakwood, Huntsville, and everything else. You just, you can see everything. And you're still going, right? We just go, we just slapping fives with angels and just going through clouds and stuff. And then all of a sudden, you get to the top, right? And as soon as you get to the top, it's like, oh, babe, watch this, watch this. So as soon as you get to the top, vertical drop, straight down. Boom, I'm screaming, ah, ah. I look over here, my wife is like, her hands in the air like, ah. I'm like, babe, hold the bar, hold the bar. What's wrong with you? And she's like, ah. So we go straight down, then we go all the way up again, and we go down, and we go all the way up again. Then all of a sudden you take this huge turn in the circle like this, like Superman, like you just woo, flying. You go up and down, up and down. At the end of the ride, they got this little wavy thing that goes foo, 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 foo. I'm scared like this. Ah! And then all of a sudden you see the camera right there, so ah! Ah! Because you can't look like no punk on the picture, right? So then the ride stops. We get off, look at her, we look at each other, we like, we gotta do that again. So we get on that ride over and over again. And I was like, yeah, we just had a ball, right? But God spoke to me. He was like, Anthony, you know what? Relationships is just like roller coasters. He said, you know, sometimes you may be in a relationship and it's like getting on the mind eraser. When you go through it, you find yourself just getting hit tortured, hurt, you have a lot of pain, and then you get out of it or you come to the end of it and you find yourself just battered and bruised and hurting. And then some relationships, they're like, they're like the bat wing, right? And you get in the bat wing and you get in that relationship and it's like you're just going backwards. You don't know which way you're going. There's a lot of flips and turns and you're going this way and all of a sudden you're going this way in the relationship and you find yourself not really knowing where you're at. And then there's some relationships that are like Superman. At one minute, you're at the top of the world. At the next minute, you're down in the dumps. And the relationship goes up, and it goes down, it goes up. And then sometimes you just find yourself going around in a circle. But uh, God said, you know what, Anthony? Even though your relationship may be like a roller coaster, it's not about the ride, it's about who you're riding it with.
And as I was riding each roller coaster, as, as crazy as it was, as the one that we had pain, the one that we didn't know where we were going, the one that it was up and down, it doesn't matter. Every roller coaster, she was right there with me, enjoying every step of the way. And even more important than that, if God is in your seat, if God is in your seat, that relationship and that roller coaster will be worth the ride. So I want to encourage you today, any relationship you may currently be in or plan to be in, just remember that all you have to keep in mind is God being in control and riding with you every step of the way. And by the time you get off, you're going to want to ride some more roller coasters. So I want to show you this little video we did. It's really short. It's only four minutes long. And this video is simply one that shows the dynamics of a relationship after the five-year mark. This is entitled The Five-Year Itch. God bless you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.